Hi, my name's Gabriella, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about my musical theatre master's audition experiences. I've seen so many videos about BAs, but literally none about masters. So I've got three different schools that I auditioned for this year. Um, sadly didn't make it into any of them, but uh, yeah, feel, you'll understand why when you hear the stories. But I thought this might just kind of be helpful to other people because this year I was mainly auditioning to get experience, see what the auditions are like, see what the schools are like, and just kind of get a feel for it all so that I'm going away this year having classes all year, training kind of, and then going to reapply for literally everything next year. Um, this is still useful for if you're doing BA because like you'll find out in some of them, some of the things are the exact same for the BA auditions and also I'll be talking about the schools a bit in general so you may still find this useful if you're auditioning for a BA. So I'll go through these in order that I went to them. But the three that I auditioned for were GSA or Guildford School of Acting, LSMT, London School of Musical Theatre and Mountview. I was meant to audition for Central as well but I got ill and couldn't make it to either of the last two auditions and now the auditions are closed so yeah, that really sucks. I'll go through like in that order because that's the order that I went to them and uh, just kind of let you know what it was like, give you a heads up on what to expect and uh, just kind of how it went. So first up was GSA. I didn't really know what to expect, this was my first drama school audition and I turned up, I knew that it was going to be done in groups like as in you would have to perform everything in front of everyone else. I was prepared for that because I had heard from other people who had auditioned that was how it was going to happen. So when I turned up, there were people there for the masters and the BA callback. See why I say it also helps for BA people? Um, turned out, we were all doing it together. There were, I think, 12 of us for the masters and nine for the BA. Um, so there were like, maths, 21 of us um, all together. And we did everything together. You had the panel, the three of them, that were there for everything that you did. Um, they didn't change, but sometimes you'd have like a pianist come in, um, or like there was someone extra who helped with the singing. Um, there were student helpers as well, so be prepared that it's not just going to be the panel, there will be other people in the room there watching you as well as the panel and the people you're auditioning with. There's a lot of people, that was like one of the big things about GSA, like one of the main differences, just how many people were in there watching you. So we showed up and we had kind of like half an hour to, not really half an hour, like a bit of time to kind of get into our dance stuff, get ready because dance was first. And all of us went into a room, we were organized, one side of the room was BA, one side was MA, you were in rows, um, maybe it was four, I think it was four rows for the MA, three for the BA. Um, and each time they did something they would rotate the line who was at the front and so you just keep rotating through every single time. There were like a whole load of technical things which you did kind of as a warm-up um, and then you went into a contemporary piece. Um, I've heard from someone else say that they did a different piece, um, they didn't do a contemporary one but we did a contemporary one and they were looking at how you were expressing yourself and everything. I am not a dancer, I'm not gonna lie, it did not go particularly well for me, um, but it, it went okay. Out of like, I mean Mountview and GSA were the only ones that did dance, LSMT is just singing, we'll get to that in a minute, but out of Mountview and GSA, I felt my dance went a lot better at GSA. They were very like, well, they had two student helpers there as well who were going through the dance and like you could look at as well and watch and see what you're meant to be doing, so that was really helpful. The dance was really long as well, it was an hour 45, two hours or something, it was quite long. Um, so kind of be prepared for that, bring a lot of water, like you could dash off to grab some water at the side of the room like whenever you needed it, they were quite chill about that. When you did the little routine that they taught you, they um, put us in four at a time um, and you'd each have a place that you would go to for that um, and you would do the routine accordingly. Then we moved on to the singing. We went into a big room there were two lines of chairs down the side, panel at the end, pianist, um, and then they would call you up randomly one by one to sing one of your songs. I think BA callbacks had only been asked to prepare one song, but masters had been asked to prepare two. Um, they only wanted to hear one, you sang the whole of your one song. Um, on the email they told us to prepare a two minute cut, but when I got there it turned out it was a three minute cut. So. 
I would be prepared, bring both, see what happens on the day. You could like use the space however you wanted, you could get a chair if you want, they let you move around, use the space however you wanted. It was just really long, like there were over 20 of us in there doing like three minutes each, it was well over an hour. Um, if they really liked you, they would ask you to sing your second song or if you were on the BA the song that you had sung at your first audition because they had to sing one off a list. So only two of the girls got asked to sing a section of their second song. Um, I know one, one of them was going for the masters and she got a final call back but I don't know about the comment about the other girl. Then we moved on to acting and that was back in the same room we had had dance and they arranged all the chairs in a big circle with the panel table at the end and they told us to perform our monologue they there was no particular order you had to stand up and just go with your monologue like after wherever you felt it fitted in and they were told don't perform it to the panel perform it to the circle around you because apparently this is how they do it in lessons and they want to kind of workshop it almost except it wasn't really a workshop it was more just like performing to each other it was quite good you just need to be on it like really on it with when you're standing up and going like I ended up going last just because ugh, I, 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 I couldn't deal with just like the whole making sure no one else was like cutting in and like getting worried about cutting someone off or whatever. And they had also asked us to kind of like see where it fitted in and see if yours fitted into someone else's. Um, and so I kept panicking that mine didn't fit, but really you've just, just got to go for it. And to be honest, I really don't think it matters if it doesn't quite fit. So we had that, and by this time it was probably like 1.30, 2 o'clock, um, and they only took about 15 minutes, because all three of them had been in everything, they only took about 15 minutes deciding who was going through to the callbacks. I didn't get a callback, so don't really know exactly what happens, but from what I gather, it's just an interview. Um, they ask you more about yourself, just general things about you, trying to see if you as a person are a good fit. By that point they've seen your like technical ability and what you can do so they just want to know about you as a person and whether they think you as a person will be a good fit for the course. So on to kind of like general things, uh, bring lots of snacks and water because like it starts like nine, you're there till about two. Um, it's a long time you need to keep yourself like with energy luckily like the dancers first that's what I really struggled with at Mount View because yeah the dancers first so like I find that's the one that I need most energy for because I don't have much technique to begin with so if I'm tired or hungry any shred of technique or like looking anything presentable with dance goes out the window so I was really glad that it went first um, most people were wearing like leotards with like tights over the top but like some people were wearing trackies like I don't think what you wore necessarily determined gave too much of an impression um, just wear something that's comfortable like that you can move in and they want it to kind of be figure revealing so don't wear massive baggy shirts. Then for like the singing and acting we had time to go get ready and I came out and I was amazed because everyone had made themselves look so pretty. Pretty much all the girls were wearing dresses. I was just wearing like some leggings, a vest and a shirt because um, I didn't realise but having been to others people weren't as dressed up for those so I think it might be more of a GSA kind of thing or like feeling. I felt really out of place in my get up because most of the girls were wearing dresses um, or just like really nice things. They had taken everyone's hair it was like down and nice and not like still up in a ponytail or whatever and like the guys were all like wearing shirts and everything. Um, so I felt out of place. Um, I think that's more of a GSA specific thing so maybe keep an eye for that. Um, but then again also having said that I really don't think it matters what you wear like they'll look past it if they see you've got the talent but you just really want to be making sure that you're doing everything you can to give a good impression so if that's what everyone else is doing I don't know maybe sticking out like a sore thumb help but I didn't get a call back so might not have done also with the singing just like a general feeling that I came away with was that you either want a song that you can sing well and act really well through or a song 
that maybe when you sing it you don't sound like you're singing like the cast recording of but it shows that you can do lots of things with your voice it shows that you are versatile it shows that you have lots of strengths within your voice um those were kind of like the two things that i kind of picked up from that maybe accurate maybe not it seems to me quite a sort of logical assumption for drama school auditions like they want to see what you can do that you have capabilities and to be honest they keep saying oh like if someone's ready to be on the west end we'll go tell them and we won't accept them but to be honest i'm not convinced that they really get many applicants that are ready for the west end so i don't think they're going to be turning you away for being too good so yeah either seeing either sing something that you can sing really well and act really really well through or just something that you maybe don't sound like the cast recording on but it's a really like tough song and you can do it justice like maybe not cast recording level justice but you can you can do it and you can show off your voice using it so yeah i think that's kind of like everything for gsa my personal reasons for feeling i didn't get a callback was that my dance just isn't there i know that i haven't really done much dance before my saying i picked the more upbeat song because i felt less nervous doing the more upbeat song especially in front of so many people which was probably the right decision for me at the time but i think for the audition to have gone better for me i probably should have done the other song because at that point i still couldn't reliably do the upbeat song as well as like I can do it like I couldn't reliably do it at my best um, and I didn't do it at my best then uh, whereas the other one was slower and I know that when I panic I my slow songs don't go well which is why I chose the other one but I think my slower one I am much better at acting through so I think that one would have gone a lot better for me and sadly I didn't pick it and I didn't get to sing it so that didn't go too well and then my monologue I kind of realised I didn't really choose an age appropriate one and I think by that point they were already like they weren't really looking at me at that point because of the dance and the singing so I would have ne really needed to blow them out of the water with my acting and I'm not sure like I, I'm, I felt it went okay but I felt it was also make sure your, your piece is age appropriate kids make sure Acting went okay, but I think by that point I was just a bit screwed because I hadn't done so well in the others. Like, if you're not doing the very best of your capabilities, I don't think you're probably going to stand a chance of getting a callback in with how competitive it is. So, moving on to LSMT. It's really quite short. Like, you go in, sing two songs, you're out again. It's about five minutes. So there's not a huge amount I can say about it, but what I can say about is, like, what to expect. So you go in, it's like an old church, you've got a big room where like they kind of hold everyone and then off to the side there's like toilets and two practice rooms so you can go in, if you get there early, you can warm up, you can practice, there's pianos, um, you've got like little rooms to warm up and make sure you're absolutely ready so that's really useful and also they will call people through in order so if you turn up really early for your slot even if there's like if there's people who turn up after you and their slot is before when yours is meant to be they will go through first so that happened not with me but to a guy so like I got there and there was someone who had turned up really early for his that was after mine um, but I got seen first because I was on the list to go first that's maybe something you can play around with like if you want to get there and warm up you can get there early being reassured that like you won't go in straight away like there will be if other people come for their slots then they will get called in first also when you're in the waiting room you can hear everyone singing because they're basically in the room above you and it's a church and it's really echoey so once you get called through you get taken up to a little green room there's some sofas there's a student helper who kind of takes you up and looks after you and sits and talks to you um kind of makes you feel more relaxed then they'll come in and get you um when they're ready and then you go through it's just two people there's a person at the panel with all the papers writing things down and then the pianist um as i said the room is really echoey so that really threw me for a second i thought my singing went a lot better that time but i think again just my more upbeat one i'm not so good at acting through so kind of general things for that um 
So I don't think there's really much more about it. Like the only thing that really hit me is like anything unusual was just how echoey the room is. Like prepare for that. It's really like there's a lot of noise in there. It comes right back at you. The piano is very loud, but luckily because the room's so echoey, you also sound very loud. It makes you sound great, which is really good. Um, but I found with one of my songs because I think the pianist knew it. Um, he didn't play exactly what my sheet music had, he was playing like his own version of it and um, I think it was my singing teacher said oh yeah like pianists like doing that because they get a bit bored playing the same stuff all the time, they like to jazz it up a bit so just be prepared, he um, yeah threw me a little bit that he started playing like completely different stuff to what was down there like it was still the same song, I could just about tell where I was but I came in at the wrong part at one point because he just yeah it messed me up a little bit so so just watch out for that um gsa and mount view the pianists both played exactly what was in front of them so i think that's about everything for lsm team that i can think of which leads us on to mount view so this is my last one um if you've watched my previous video about losing my voice this is the one where i managed to do kind of some kind of vocal damage like two days before my audition I didn't get in, there were many other reasons, there were many other reasons why I didn't get a call back from Outview, but vocal damage definitely didn't help. Um, or near vocal damage. Yeah. So we turned up, they started a little bit late, it was meant to start at 9.30, we were meant to be there half an hour before. Um, I got there at 20 past because I had been stuck in so much traffic. I live an hour away, it took me 2 hours 20 to get there. I was told to get into my dance stuff as soon as I got there, so I did and I went up and like no one else was in their dance stuff. So I would not bother getting into your dance stuff straight away. I would wait um, because, as I found out about half an hour later, um, you get taken across to another building, although future auditions are going to be at their new site so it might not be a different building but either way we got taken to the place where we were going to be doing the dance then um, basically they had us line up we, we had all been given a number when we turned up and we were ordered in our numbers um, and they split us in half and half did dance first the other half were split in two again one did acting first one did singing first then the acting and singing would swap and then the two groups would swap dancers would be split in half they would do acting, singing, swap, and then the people who had just been doing acting and singing would dance. So that is how it works at Mount View. Um, I had a friend who was emailed out something completely different turned up, and that's what they did at his audition as well. So that seems to be how they run their auditions. So just be prepared for that. Um, I would not get into your dance stuff straight away when you turn up because you might not be dancing first, and it's always nicer to like be in a dress or something when you're singing. What might be easier. Um, you kind of have like a little bit of breaks between them but you don't know how long it's going to be so what is actually a bit easier is if you wear what you want to dance in underneath something else so if you've got like leotard and tights wear that underneath a dress um, makes it easier makes it more comfortable um, you can always change like before or after in between but that just seemed like an easy thing to do so um, might advise that. So I did, the order I did everything in was acting, singing, dancing. Um, so I'll take you through in that order. The acting, they did a whole body warm up with us. Um, we were doing everything, just like shoulders and like voices, getting everything nice and warmed up. Um, it was really nice. There were only five of us in my group. So they had the panel of three and then they had a small row of like, panel of three here and then a small row of chairs like make a small semicircle. We all sat facing but we were told to deliver it towards the panel or like a spot on the wall just above it like not directly at the panel but like just above the panel's head or like to the side of their head. They didn't want us like looking them dead in the eye like making them one of the characters. They wanted us to imagine a character. They wanted us to imagine the person we were acting to um, but they had to be like behind them. They didn't want us imagining someone like to our side. So it went quite quick because there were five of us. They did our classical monologues first and then our contemporary ones and it went through a number order, same again. Then we had quite a bit of a break. 
they had taken us to a little break room, there were sofas, it was nice, um, toilets to get changed in. So then we went into the singing. There wasn't much of a warm up for singing, so I would advise like, if you are not warming up in the car beforehand, like on the way there, um, warm up in the little breaks that you have between everything, just make sure you're warmed up because we didn't do much in the way of warm up before it was like straight into it. So you had to check your two songs with him that they were contrasting enough so I would bring like another option just in case, like one or two other options just in case he feels that they're not contrasting enough. Um, but everyone, he was fine with everyone's choices that I saw so you should be fine. It's just better to be prepared than not. So then you sing your two songs just to one person, it was only one person panel. Then he asked us to do little sirens, so just kind of basically showing the extent of our vocal range and he would like do some adjustments and like try get you doing it different ways. Um, and I think it was less about like what your actual ability was but how you were able to take instruction and do all of that. So that again went quite quick, um, it was two songs each I think. I don't know if there was a time limit because some people's songs were going on but um yeah just bring like with GSA bring a two minute cut and a three minute cut then we went back to the break room and oh my god I would advise bring snacks so much like snacks and lunch because by this point I was dying um I'd gotten up really early had a really early breakfast um and then it just yeah I, I was dead by this point so make sure you bring snacks proper food proper lunch because they do have a little cafe there in the new building. They probably will have like places to get food, but just make sure you're prepared because I wasn't and it bit me in the ass. So then you do the dance and again, like GSA, it was like lots of technical things, technical things. And then I don't know what the routine was. It seemed basically like someone's aerobics class where they've tried to make it a bit dancey. That's what the routine seemed like to me. I'm sorry. I didn't enjoy that routine um it wasn't my style I'm not very good at like I'm more of a contemporary possibly jazz I'm I'm, I'm not really down with the um like commercial style it wasn't even like properly it, it wasn't even commercial it was I don't know what it was yeah and then you did that in groups of three I think it was, three or four um it was like small groups um and you did it twice um so they had like one a front row and a back row and you would do it one way around and then you would swap so the person who was at the back was at the front and then you'd do it again but um yeah they were really strict with things like their corner work if you messed it up which I did because I was dying by this point um you didn't get a second go like that was it it was your one chance so no pressure um they also did a thing where you would go around and like check your spines he didn't check my spine he, he said like oh make sure that like um you don't stop before i've like checked your spine or whatever he didn't check my spine um so i was like well but then i think i figured by that point he could tell that i was not a dancer and i don't think he really cared what my spine was like because he knew that i wasn't uh wasn't gonna happen for me. Everything they did was in number order, so they would always call you out in number order. So then we had about an hour wait. I was about to pass out by this point. So yeah, bring lunch, just do it. Because if you get a call back, you have about a 15 minute break and then you're back into it again. Um, I think they said you just redo your songs and your monologues in front of like the whole panel. Um, but I've also heard from some people who said like they called back loads of people one time and they only spent like a few minutes with the last person because they were just getting through everyone. So I don't know how long you spend with the panel, but you're gonna be there a while probably. So they explained to us the way they do it is in each discipline they give you a score, I think it's out of 100 because they said you need to average 60 across all of them. As well as averaging 60, you need to have at least a 60 in your singing. So that might be a hint for you. Um, if your singing is not like really pretty good already, um, you're not gonna get a call back. They do call back like a lot of people. Each time that I went somewhere on the master's audition, I've been quite like blown away by how good everyone is. Like a lot of these people have been training at drama schools 
lesser well-known ones like drama colleges for three years already um, so there's a lot of competition um, but yeah for Mount View they kind of do it on a point system and if you get over a certain amount of points then you get a call back um, I don't know how they make their minds up from then um, but they let you know afterwards I think it, they said within about two weeks whether you get in or not so the things I noticed about this like other than the whole bring food which I've been stating throughout I don't think there's much more about it um, like the dressing like how people were dressing was a lot less like formal than GSA there were a lot more people like wearing like trackies or leggings um, and tops or like sports bras as opposed to GSA where it was pretty much all like apart from the guys like leotards and tights um, and then again for like singing and stuff there were a lot more people wearing like more casual clothes um, as opposed to like the quite like formal like people wearing like nice summer dresses um, or like j just nice dresses um, and like shirts and things to GSA it, it was a lot more of a casual affair at Mount View so that's just kind of like the feeling I get um, I know why I didn't get in my monologues went okay I thought my contemporary one went well my classical one I feel because it was just my, the first thing there I just rushed it a little bit but I think it was fine it kind of suited the tone of the piece I think it just made the whole thing a little bit flat but we've moved on singing if you've seen my other video on vocal damage you'll know that um, I kind of pushed my voice a bit too far two days before and then didn't stop talking and was doing doing so much like constantly like working 10 hour shifts going filming spending whole days like with people talking to people um so i when i'm filming this i've only just like got my voice back like it my throat's starting to hurt like quite a bit from having talked for so long <laughs> so i need to stop soon but um yeah i just i opened my mouth for the first note of the first song and it was pitchy and then my high notes weren't there and i kept going pitchy in places um and it just didn't go well for me at all um, and then by the time we got to the dance I hadn't eaten enough I was knackered I was hungry and I was just a bit of a mess my da I'm not a dancer my dancing just went all over the shop like there was not an ounce of like even potential technique in me so that's why I didn't get in because I think my acting might have been okay but the dance would have pulled the average way down and I don't think my singing got a 60. So it was kind of awkward for the like five of us out of about 20 that didn't get called back. Um, but it was also kind of awkward because I think like over 30 people had said they were meant to be coming to the audition and only, actually I think there were only 18 of us in the end. But I think because it's later in the year, everyone's got their places some people are dropping out of not turning up so um yeah that's that so I think that's kind of all my experiences with my drama school auditions this year um I hope people find them useful if you've got any more questions uh please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them this is all like my personal experience and my personal opinions it might not necessarily be like everyone's experience or everyone's opinions but hopefully it's just helpful for other people who are going for auditions they can get a feel of what those three drama schools are like and what to expect at auditions for them. Give it a like if you found it useful and subscribe to stay updated when the rest of my stuff comes out. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye!